Hello and welcome to BLW. Today we're going to be taking a look at a failed LEGO product. And although I'm a bit hesitant to use this word, probably the worst scam LEGO has ever made. So this is the VidIO Music Video Maker LEGO sets. Now, there were a few of these made um, before they were officially canceled in 2022. But basically the idea was that you get this small Lego set which comes with a minifigure in it and you can use the vid.io app to make your own music video. In theory, it's kind of a good idea, but in reality, not so much. So you may notice from the box that my set came with a little llama and you may notice it says that it has 82 pieces included which we will get into that in just a second. Now, originally, these retailed for 20 bucks. 20 bucks for 82 pieces, um, three of which were part, or at least three of which were part of a minifigure. Now, of course, I did get a unique minifigure with mine, but that's still extremely expensive. Now, I did buy this at a secondhand store for eight bucks. And honestly, even for that, I feel like it was too much. So here is our completed Lego set. So you have this little container where the minifigure is. Then you have these Legos that hold on the handle, which if you look at this, you've already got six of your 82 pieces right here, just on the handle. And then most of the rest are in the back with um, this design. I honestly can't tell if this is supposed to, well, maybe it's supposed to be a palm tree now that I'm looking at it like this. But I'm still not sure because it doesn't make the most sense. Now... To actually use the system, you would have to take your character out of this little carrying case and open them like this. Now, surprisingly, the app does still work, which is kind of interesting because other LEGO products that were discontinued that had apps, like Hidden Side, um, their apps no longer work. This one still does work, and on, I did try it out since I did have the product. And honestly, it's not the worst app in terms of functionality. It tended to work good, but I couldn't really see how it could be used for a music video maker. And it seems like it would get really old fast. Now, another issue with it is you may see these little tiles right here. Now, I actually like these tiles because they're all printed. But to use the app with a new character, for example, our llama, you would have to set it up like this and let the app scan it. Now, if for some reason you didn't already have one of these pieces in your app, it would need to re-download it. So instead of downloading everything all at once, Every time you scan something new, you have to download something new. So I had to download something new to use this character. And then I had to download um, something new to use whatever bits weren't on there. And, not to mention, that's not even all the bits you get. There are more bits that are just kind of hidden away in this little storage container. So you can't even have all the bits on here at once. Now... For 20 bucks, this was definitely a ripoff. I can understand that they probably needed, you know, to make money to keep the app working, to pay the development team, but really that's just way too expensive for something of this caliber. Even the $8 that I spent on this, I would say was too much. The only thing about this that I really like is, of course, my little llama minifigure, and then these printed... Um, printed tiles here. I'm glad that they went with printed instead of stickers, but it's still definitely not worth it for the money. 
So, what do you guys think? Did you ever own one of these um, during the production date? Do you own any now? Do you think that they were a scam? I hesitate to use that word because I don't think LEGO was actually trying to scam people, but the cost to value ratio is terrible. If I had to rate this out of a 10, it would be a one easily. I do like the printed tiles. I do like the little llama guy. But there's no reason for it to cost this much. And there's no reason for most of my 82 pieces to just be on the back here. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. And I'll see you next time with a brand new Lego video.